Jeff of Channel 15 News, and I am here in Miami with Nora San Diego. Nora, could you please tell us a little bit about your Children's Foundation and how you defend immigrants? Yes, well, I'm an advocate for immigrants. I know lawyers, and I know county commissioners, and even members in Congress. I know if people have been detailed by immigration and customs enforcement, and even where they are. Well, another way I help out these families is that I help them avoid Immigration and Customs Enforcement Officers, also known as ICE officers. These ICE officers are, <laughs> are having children suffer immensely by deporting their parents back to Nicaragua. And so I just try my best to inform these families so they can maybe get out as soon as possible. As you can tell, we have changed locations here. I'm still here with Nora. Nora, is it true that even if parents have children born in the U.S. that they can be deported? No, that's actually a common misconception. Uh, undocumented parents can't gain legal status even if their children are born in the U.S. So, it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. That's very interesting. I didn't realize that. Is this something common in the U.S.? Yeah, undocumented parents are actually deported by the tens of thousands each year, and the children oftentimes maybe may think or would are worried that they might get taken to, but fortunately that's not the case. With times like these, why do these parents come to you? Well, the parents, honestly, they're, they're very desperate, and should these should their children be deported, they come to me and they sign power over me to step in as their legal guardian, So, which leads me to be actually a guardian of 1,052 kids right now in my foundation, so doing as much as I can. So what you're telling me is that when these parents get deported and their children are left in America, in the Americas, you are their, their parents pretty much. Yes, um, legally, yeah, but uh, I obviously can't keep an eye on them the whole time because I have a lot of children to take care of, so that's why I have the workers within my foundation to, you know, give as much help as they can. A lot of these parents sign the forms over to you. Yeah, it's a nightmare for a lot of these parents. They they want to give their children opportunities in the U.S. where there's a good ed, where there's a good education and whatnot. And Nicaragua, quite frankly, is not the best place for these children. And there's a lot of gang, there's a lot of gangs and violence there. So. Nora, everything you've been telling me sounds very personal. Is this a personal subject for you? Uh, yes, I actually lived that when I was 16. My parents sent me away from Nicaragua to escape the violence of the civil war that was going on. Like, my family was personally being targeted for opposing the Sandinistas, a U.S.-backed rebel group, and one of my classmates didn't show up to uh, one of the meetings with the Sandinistas, and they killed him. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a rough subject. That's crazy. Nora, when did you start helping others with immigration? Well, I had been helping for years, but it, I believe it was 1997, the Nicaraguan Adjustment and Central American Relief Act was passed, and, which granted asylum to certain Nicaraguans and their dependents who had come to the U.S. How has the immigration problem increased? Well, first, the numbers, they began small, but then they grew into dozens, and then eventually they grew into hundreds. I try to keep up with the request, but it's, it's, it's rather difficult. All right, Nora, we're running out of time here. As you mentioned, uh, the immigration problem has increased. How has the Trump administration affected this increase in any way? Well, he has most definitely affected it. Um, before Trump, there was hope for the Deferred Action for Parents of Americans, the DAPA program, but DAPA has been rescinded. When DAPA failed, so too did the hopes of dream and dreams of so many children. Under current law, a children must wait until they are 21 of age to sponsor their parents. Thank you so much for your time today. I really learned a lot about everything you have to tell us. I know other people did too. So I really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you. And also, if you, if my name didn't already give it away, I, I am a female. Um, but the masculinity in Nicaragua, it's, it's something else. Thank you. I could not tell. Back to you, Kufus. <laughs>